Hello, beautiful soul. My name is Angie Beats, and I'm a clinical psychotherapist specializing in eating disorder treatment, and I'm also recovered. And I wanted to explore with you today the feeling of overwhelm. I know for me personally lately, I have really been struggling with this feeling of just panic. And I know that it's really coming on full force when I have this sensation that there's these hands that are gripping my heart and just squeezing it. I feel like I can't get a full breath. My um, breathing starts to become really shallow. And my thoughts just go to this place of being completely overwhelmed. And I've noticed that if I take time for what I call the sacred pause, um, I'm able to drop down to a place inside myself that really is calm and serene and has this sensation that everything is manageable and I don't have to worry or stress so much. And the other day, I was on the internet and I came across this meditation called the Sacred Pause, and it's a 30-minute meditation that's for stress. And I will tell you, my initial thought was, I don't have 30 minutes. And I was like, I'm just going to try it anyway. So I turned it on, and I probably only listened to it for 10 to 12 minutes, but I immediately felt back in alignment, back in my solid self that could see things more clearly. And what I realized was, I tend to put everything on the front burner and it feels like everything is kind of boiling over and overwhelming at the same time when really there's many things, even if it's, you know, things that I need to take care of tomorrow, there's things that I can put on the back burner or things that are for next month that I can put on the back burner or unnecessary worry that really I can take off a burner altogether. And when I have the clarity through often meditation or going for a walk outside, I have the ability to say, when the thought comes up into my mind of, oh, you need to worry about this, I have the ability to say, oh, that's a back burner item. I'm not going to give that attention right now. So I'm wondering what are the strategies you have? What are your ways to drop into the quiet, still part of yourself? to have that sacred pause to remind yourself that, you know, you're doing it. I, I have this narrative always that this is too overwhelming and I can't do it. But the reality is I'm managing everything. It's just I get caught in a story of how I'm not. So check in with yourself about that too. Like what's your narrative? Are you telling yourself a story that you're unable to manage these things? And if so, really explore what is on your plate and what is necessary, what is something you want to prioritize, and really kind of get clear about how you can do those things and do them at a B plus level instead of an A plus level. I always give myself the courtesy to be kind to myself and say, I can do this at a B plus and it's going to be really well done even if it's not at my 100% best. And as a result, I tend to accomplish more things when I decrease the pressure. So what are the ways that you can pause and get still? And I'm going to add the link in the notes below for the meditation, and I'd love it if you tried it out. I'm gonna make a commitment to you guys that I'm gonna complete the whole 30 minute meditation because it is just beautiful and really, really helpful. So. Take some time for the sacred pauses and uh, take care of yourself along the path and know that